Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Teresa. According to the Nevada Revised Statuses, prostitution is the voluntary act of trading of sexual favors for a fee. But the exchange does not have to include actual penetration or cash to qualify as prostitution. Even sexual touching over clothing counts as a sexual favor. And the fee can be anything of value such as jewelry or drugs. Our proposition is the U.S. should legalize and decriminalize adult prostitution with limited regulations. I am going to be saying this with four points. The first is current conditions for prostitution are dangerous. Second, disease is spread more often because prostitution is illegal. Third, government funding is too expensive for what it's worth. And fourth, prostitution creates a positive outcome on the economy. Going to my first point, current conditions for prostitution are dangerous. Um, these are two subjects that are of issues, violence. Susan K. Hunter and P.C. Reed says about 80% of women in prostitution have been a victim of rape every year. They are the most raped class of women in the history of our planet. If we legalize prostitution, then there would be less violence because they would have protection from the government. Also in regards to health, Ann Jennings says, the amount and quality of health care available to many prostitutes is woefully inadequate. In addition, health care insurance options are unavailable to most prostitutes. Um, health care would be provided if prostitution was legal. And this is the group that actually needs health care the most. Um, on our second point, disease is spread more often because prostitution is illegal. No regulations in condom or birth control is at the present moment for illegal prostitution. Many websites such as womenshealth.gov and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention always mention that using a condom is a major way to prevent the spread of STDs and HIVs. Priscilla Alexander says prostitutes position diaphragms in positions that can be associated with bladder infections. Although it is relatively simple to treat bladder infections because of the way um, they have sexual intercourse and many antibiotics are available, some women can go to develop chronic, chronic cystitis. And this is because prostitutes can't afford health care to have this fixed. Also, on my third point, government funding is too expensive for what it's worth. Julie Pearl says in America's Cities and Costs of Prostitution Control, in 1985, Dallas poli police made 7,280 prostitution arrests, which cost local taxpayers over $10 million. More importantly, these prostitution arrests cost taxpayers over 300 hours daily of police um, man hours. We would have no more street walkers in legalized prostitution and police could find the illegal prostitutes more often and spend more time focusing on other crime. On my last point, prostitution creates a positive outcome on the economy. Legalization and decriminalization of prostitution would generate both jobs and income via taxation. Meredith Dang, PhD, says Atlanta had the largest underground commercial sex economy in 2007 at $290 million. To put this number in perspective, Atlanta's underground commercial sex economy was nearly 2.5 times bigger than the 2013 payroll of the Atlanta Falcons. Making this act legal would allow the U.S. to tax the business, which would create economic growth. On regards to our plan for legalizing prostitution, it would be um, regarded for the pimps and the prostitutes. In terms of a pimp, for those who do not know, Pimps are a man who controls prostitutes and arranges clients for them, taking part of their earnings in return, according to the English Oxford Dictionary. Um, in regards for madams and pimps, madams, the female version of a pimp, um, they are now businessmen. They are required to have history in business and management or law, a document-based system such as receipt of payment. They need to pay state and fed taxes. Um, they would pay prostitutes on the level of experience and acts performed. They must have a business license, address, and can do delivery via um, dual delivery, like a maid will do, like a maid would do, or a music performer would do. Um, also, they would have a private business on private property. They would be monitored and checked for behavior, such as um, any employee felt like they are being physically abused or verbally abused, like any other job. 
and if they were hiring minors or aliens. Um, just like uh, a bar would for um, having um, alcohol, giving alcohol to minors, um, if they were found out to um, employ minors or aliens, um, after three strikes they would be closed down. In regulations for the prostitute themselves, they would be required to have business tools, which would be condoms and birth control. As stated before, they cannot be minors or aliens. They would be required to have a high school diploma or a GED. They would have to be mentally stable of making independent decisions, such as someone is for writing a will. Um, they would have bi-weekly checkups for STDs because that is the incubation period of STDs. They cannot have sex with minors and as stated before, there would be no street walkers. And they could not be under the influences of any illegal drugs while they are working. In conclusion, um, first, current conditions for prostitution is dangerous. Second, disease is spread more often because prostitution is illegal. Third, government funding is too expensive for what it's worth. And fourth, prostitution creates a positive outcome on the economy. I hope you agree that the U.S. should legalize and decriminalize adult prostitution with limited regulations. Thank you.